Tactical Main here with a closer look at the Belleville 590 USMC Hot Weather Boot. Uh, guys, these boots are awesome. Alright, I can't say enough good thing about these boots. Um, so let's just go ahead and start, Take let's take a look at them from the top down. Alright, from the upper down. Up top you got a nice padded collar. It's not thick, it's not hard. It doesn't dig into your shin or your ankle, or not your ankle, but your calf. It does not dig in, nor does the leather up here. Okay. You got a nice nylon, okay, and it does have a lining. I do believe it's a moisture wicking lining, all right. It does not trap heat, uh, and it is not water resistant or waterproof, okay. Then you got your full, full grain cowhide leather, very good quality, thick, sturdy leather. These boots are not going to blow out on you. I've had these, uh, going on eight months now and they still pretty much look brand new uh, i wear them probably about 75 percent of the time i rotate them out with some other boots but these are my main <laughs> work work play go out everything boots all right now let's go back to the uh the topic of the boot you got two eyelets right here and then you got six speed lace eyelets and i must say this is the fastest boot to get on and fully lace up and to get off All right, working our way down, uh, Belleville has a Vanguard direct injected sole system, which helps with shock absorption in here, okay? And then take a look at, bottom, at the bottom of the boot. Yes, it does trap mud. Um, this is from the range, some really nasty sticky mud on here. You got your Vibram, <coughs> excuse me, you got your Vibram outsole. Uh, you do have multi-directional lugs that help with uh, terrain traversing and uh you'd have the full eight inch height okay um you got your drain holes they do drain rather quick uh you do have a decent amount of height right here so on a rainy day you're not going to get water in here the only way you're going to get water in here is if you actually step into a creek a river or a puddle a deep puddle um i wear these at work in the rain all the time in florida if anybody knows florida we get some hellacious rains and I never have I've never gotten them wet um, even going down in here the only time I've gotten wet is uh, walking through rivers uh, walking out on the beach into the water and bringing the water level up higher than obviously the drain holes okay now let's take a look inside don't know if you're gonna be able to see because I don't have any light you're not gonna be able to see you can see right there on the left I'll put my finger right there you can see the drain holes so they are not covered up and they drain rather quickly um, right here you have your your Belleville tag 590 10R we'll talk about sizing in a little bit but inside you do have a removable polyurethane uh, footbed okay and it's yeah it's got sock dust all over it sorry um, these look really flimsy right guys they are probably the most comfortable you get. I mean, that doesn't look like much, but that is an amazing bit of arch support right there. Amazing. Um, it, it really doesn't look like a whole lot, but that's a hell of a lot of heel uh, uh, cushioning. It's just <laughs> somehow, some way, they did it right with these footbeds. But they're obviously removable if you need to remove them. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 on the arch support, these are a 10. Uh, unless you have high arches and... Uh, you know you require orthotic inserts obviously but uh they're really 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 comfortable boots all right let me get this back in here 
So that's a nice bonus. It's removable, replaceable if you have your favorite footbed that you like. Um, you have your EGA, obviously, on the outside. Never on the inside, never facing in. EGA right there. All right. Beautiful boots. Um, what else can I talk about? Let's talk about the quality. The leather quality is amazing. It matches. All right, I've gotten other boots with a color from, uh, you know, your heel cup. This would be a different color. This, the color is the same all the way around. If there's any discoloration in this video, it's obviously because it's dirty. All right. Um, the leather is just amazing. The nylon's amazing. <laughs> the soles, this is eight months old. Looks brand new, guys. I don't see really any wear on there anywhere. Now, I wear these to work, okay? And I walk, on average, four miles a day at work. Can you tell? And it's on concrete, on sidewalks. All right, and ladder, so these are gonna hold up and last forever, forever. What movie is that? All right, uh, the quality of the stitching. You can see right here, it's right on par, okay? There are some spots where, I don't know, you can see right here. See, it's not really lined up. Does that matter? Um, I don't know, not to me. Cause it's still there all right so this is a great boot <laughs> the quality is top notch it is american made what an awesome awesome boot right the comfort i talked about the comfort already it is supreme um there's one thing you're gonna have to take into consideration and comfort and i guess that'll bring us to our ne next subject is the sizing uh i'm pretty sure Probably 75% of the people watching this video looking to see if they want to buy these boots. It is because of the sizing issues, right? You're reading reviews online and you're saying these things are gunboats. They're huge. They're clown shoes. Well, you're right. They are massive. Guys, I measure a 11 and a half on a Branock device. 11 and a half regular, 11 and a half medium on a Branock device. Look what size I'm wearing. And they fit like a glove. Perfect. Ten regular. Okay. That's a f according to the Branock device. All my other boots I wear are typically an eleven. Okay, or a ten and a half, an eleven. On the Branock device, I measure eleven and a half, and these are a ten. Okay. I started off with a ten and a half, and they were just way too long. Okay. And I went down to a ten, and they fit perfect. So, talking about sizing, if you're ordering these online, say you're not active duty and there's no base around where you can go and get these, your local Army Navy store does not sell them, but you really, really want a pair, okay, and you're ordering online, do some research and make sure their return policy allows you to return the boots. Obviously, you can't wear them outside, you can't scuff them up, you can't do nothing like that if they're the wrong size. That way, you, when you get them, they're definitely not going to fit the first time. The first size you order is not going to fit, all right? So once you uh, find that place, I got these from magnumbootshop.com. Great service, uh, great return policy, everything. Um, and just do it that way. Do not, I repeat, do not get these off of Amazon the first time, okay? Uh, the last time I checked, Amazon does not stock any Belleville boots themselves. It's all their third-party people that sell them, other vendors on there. And their return policies are so hidden and embedded that you order a pair and say it's a half-size too big or a full-size too big and you need to return it. Some of them charge a 36% restocking fee. That's not worth it, okay? Free returns from U.S. Patriot Tactical, uh, Magnum Boot Shop, all that good stuff so check out one of those places make sure you know the return policy because you are going to return the first pair that's that's a given it's not going to fit right they're going to be too big but once you get that fit holy goodness you're going to love this boot that's there's it's going to and it's going to last you forever um if you're active duty marine corps uh it might not last you forever <laughs> you guys uh do a little bit of running a little bit of walking, a little bit of humping, uh, but it's going to last a very long time. I've read some stuff about uh, active duty Marines wearing these for 
damn close to four or five years. Uh, that's a long time in uh, active duty Marine. Uh, so, a recap, one hell of a good boot. Um, if you guys have any further questions about anything on this boot, go ahead and ask and I will get back to you. Uh, let's go ahead and rate this boot. On the tactical mains, overall rating of one through five stars, tactical main gives this boot five stars. Five stars. One hell of a boot, guys. Go ahead and get you a pair.